What's up, everybody? Welcome back to X Plane 11. I'm Mike Messer, and uh, we're right now flying towards Los Angeles from Las Vegas. We just took off in the Boeing 737 Zebo Mod in the Southwest livery. And uh, I had a request for some instruction on changing your approach or waypoints in the FMC while you're in route. So I'm going to do that real fast hop in here to our FMC. And this is just gonna be a short video, guys, just trying to explain uh, this concept to some people. All right, so we're climbing up now, uh, but uh, let's just let that go. So how are you gonna change, let's say you wanna change your approach, right? How are you gonna change your approach without screwing up your autopilot since it's currently flying the aircraft? Well, this is how you kinda wanna go about it, okay? So first off, we're going to go into our legs. We're going to go down and you're going to see uh, all these different waypoints, right? And uh, you can kind of tell what they are. So this is the runway, right? So this is your go around pattern. Um, if necessary, you can go and see that's the holding, holding left. So that'd be the holding pattern for the left. But I rarely, if ever, would use that. Uh, if I ever had to go around, I'd probably just manually do it. But, uh, so all of these right here, and all of these up to this one. This one is a, um, a, a star, okay? I think it's the stars of Sid. I can't remember which. I always forget which ones are which. Anyway, this is the last waypoint, so to speak, before you go into your approach into for example, this one, Los Angeles, but it could be any airport. And you know that because of the flight plan you've already done um, in your aircraft. And if you don't know how to do any of that, I have a tutorial about how to set up your FMC and everything like that uh, that you can do. Go look at it. It'll explain everything. So because I want to change my approach, so right now I'm landing at uh, 07 left in Los Angeles. I want to change that, let's say, to 07 right, right? That, okay, let's say there's a, there's a shift, and let's say something happens on 07 left, and that runway has to be shut down. Now I have to land on 07 right. How do I change that approach? Well, to simply do that, all you're going to do is you're going to go into these. You're going to delete, basically, all of these points. So you're going to select. I'm sorry, you gotta click delete first, then select, right? Delete, 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 previous page. And again, we're looking for that last star. We're not gonna delete that last star because it's important. So delete that one, delete that one, and delete that one, and this one as well, and that one. And then we're gonna go back in, and so that's the star we're looking at, so we don't wanna delete that, so we're gonna delete this final one right here. And we're gonna execute it. Now, the reason I executed it because it's gonna clear out that um, approach, quote unquote, from the system. That would allow us basically to go into our departure and arrival, KLAX, that's where we're arriving. Click arriving. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna change what runway you're gonna go to. So, let's see, we're gonna go to, let's say it's gonna be runway, what did I say, uh, seven right now we're gonna do. So our nav, if there is one, I don't think there's a seven right. Oh, there it is. Yeah, seven right right there. So we're going to go a seven right this time. And um, execute that. And really, all that's all you do. You execute, right? Boom. Now, if we go into our legs page, you're going to see your route discontinuity. Don't worry about that. You all you have to do is select this, move it up. Execute. Now, if you look, all of the new waypoints have been set into the FMC and you'll be able to fly the approach. That simple guys, it really is that simple. Uh, all you have to do is delete the, the waypoints that you don't want to fly anymore and that's going to be up to you, you know, if you're going to change your approach, up to your SID uh, that you're coming in on. So you just delete up to there, go into the departure approach, arrival, um, 
page, go into your arrivals for KLAX or whatever air airport you're flying into, change your approach. You could change it to an entirely different direction. Uh, you know, let's say that the wind speeds have changed, weather's rolled in, they need you to fly in a different pattern to a different runway because the winds have changed. You always fly, you know, you always land and take off into the wind, right? So you could do it that way. Uh, if you need to change a certain point, let's say you've been redirected to a different waypoint, and that would be done by the um, ATC, right? All you're going to have to do is delete whatever point that they've removed or changed or delete up to that point if you really want to make sure you don't screw up your FMC and then you just manually input the point let's say uh, this one right here right so let's go ahead and delete this one now it's a route discontinuity right so let's say okay we need to go to this new point that they've changed this to they changed they've redirected us and uh, I have the plan over on the right screen. You can't see it, but um, I'm re-inputting the same one. But And this is the point we're going to go to. So all we're going to do is, I'm sorry, oops, that's not even, it's, uh, I don't know why I put the two there. It's supposed to be just Alpha November Juliet Lima Lima. Boom, there it is, right? Execute. And it's that simple. It's really that simple. And you gotta think, okay, well, how do you know which ones you're going to? First of all, ATC will redirect you. Um, if you're changing your approach because of the change of weather, all you have to do is delete up to that point that you're coming into the area. Um, you'll know that because of the route that you're given. Uh, for example, SimBrief, it's a great tool. It'll give you your routes that you're gonna take in. This can be that last point uh, before the runway you're gonna grab. That's your last SID, so. You're going to delete up to that point, and then you're going to input the new one. Uh, if you are uncertain, if you've done it correctly, remember, you can always, always, always go up here to your plan just by selecting this to the right one. Go down, and you can step through your plan to make sure that your approach is good. Right? That's all you got to do, guys. All you have to do. So, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Hopefully this helped you out. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time with another X-Plane 11 tutorial.